Hey friends, welcome to Woodbine Outdoors. Listen, we don't just kill them, we also cook them and eat them. So we've been absolutely wearing the squirrels out here in the yard. I think I got over 20. I got seven in the sink. Today, I want to try this recipe that, that's not really a recipe, but something I've always wanted to do with squirrels is smoke them. I got a friend of mine, shout out to uh, Scott and Shaney Short, hooked me up with a pit ball smoker. So. I'm gonna smoke some squirrels today. But let's get them processed first. I already got them thawed out. I got them in the sink. And come on over here, and I'll show you how I do it. All right. That's a pretty average size squirrel right there. What I like to do is just make sure it's nice and clean. I wash them pretty good on the day that I clean them and freeze them so that you don't really have a lot of work to do whenever you come back. I'm usually too tired to do, or just, you know, just kind of done with it or I would I would do this sometimes I do this part before I freeze them that we can just thaw them out and go to work but here lately I've just been freezing them like this and then doing this part when I thaw them out so what I normally do is I will take and just split that squirrel right here just makes him a little bit easier to work with take some good shears and I'm just going to trim all this all this stuff off. I mean, you can eat it if you want to. I've just found that it just gets weird for the most part. And so I just get rid of it. This loose skin that is uh, like under the rib cage. And the ribs, some people like to fry the ribs um, crispy and eat them. And, you know, you could do it however you want. This is just the way that I do it. I just kind of open those ribs up, cut them tips off and cut that out. And like this fat right here, this stuff is really is really no good. Um, the, the fat on a squirrel is not like the fat on uh, beef. And you're not going to encounter this. If you're hunting squirrels in the woods, you're not really going to encounter a lot of fat on those squirrels. These squirrels sit on the feeder out back here. And they, and they, they eat pretty much all year long. That feeder is right out that window right there. And uh, it was just it was just shaking a second ago from a feeder that I mean a squirrel that was on it, and I mean they're nonstop here eating. I just cleaned one before I did this squirrel, and man, he had so much fat on it that I just cut that footage out. So on these squirrels, there is a gland under the armpit. You can see it right there. It's actually exposed. You can see it. You want to get that gland out of there because it's it's not very tasty. And I uh, always remove it. So get that gland out of there. Sometimes it can really give you a fit. A little bit of water. Other side. You can honestly just not even fool with the upper part of this squirrel. Um, I like to. I like to eat it. It just makes for a little bit of nibbling. There's not much meat on it. So if it's not worth it to you, cut it off and throw it away. Most people only save this part of the squirrel. You see how it tapers up right here? This is what the basically be the back strap. You can kind of see how thick it is right there. That's a big, thick piece of meat. This back leg, big and thick piece of meat. All of this is just for fun, really, just for something to nibble on. I'm going to show you another gland that I normally never take out. But let's, let's trim this up a little bit first. You want to get all this crud off of here. This was a male squirrel. And his, his stuff, you know, this is his family jewels or what was uh, all the other equipment with the family jewels is right here. You just want to get all that off. You don't want to eat that, that fat that's connected to that or whatever that is. I don't even know if that's fat or not, but sometimes there'll be a little bit of stuff left in here. You just pull it out, rinse it off. I'll show you a secondary gland that I normally don't mess with, but just for this video, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a, uh, a little light spot right here. You're just gonna cut over that, cut down, and there's that gland right there. You can pull that out. I haven't, I have, I have not removed this gland before, and it's really not been that big of a deal, especially when you're frying them. But I'm smoking them this time, and so the flavor might translate just a little bit different than frying. Frying kind of annihilates everything. Also, this, this cut in the back of these legs would probably help it cook a little bit quicker. 
you see that gland coming out of there. This squirrels are just loaded with fat, man. And there you have it. That squirrel is ready for the smoker. I'm going to get the rest of these cleaned up, and, uh, and then we're going to put them on the smoker. So I did that one, you know, a little bit slow, and I did it with a knife, but I'm just going to show you. I just want to show you how valuable, how efficient a pair of these um, little game shears are. I didn't figure these things out. I didn't even find out about them or start using them until I was an adult. And this squirrel was big and fatty. Get all the fat in there. I'm just going to show you how fast this goes with some game shears. Get all this stuff off. We don't need all that. All that mess. Never even had to pick this knife up. Slippery little sucker. Dude, this fat on these things is so, it's so slippery. See, all they eat is nuts, tree nuts, and they're full of, they're loaded with fat. They're real oily whenever you're cleaning them too. Get all this crud out of here. Whatever all this stuff is, we don't want to eat it. You don't cut your tip of your finger off. Back leg, even gonna do the back legs with the scissors. Snip, reach right in there, snip it out. Tip of that scissor on there, snip, snip, and it'll really just pop up right there. And that's it. Quick and easy. Don't take long. All right, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of trying to keep it simple. I was kind of thinking about what should I do to these squirrels. They, they, I would say squirrels don't have a lot of fat. These squirrels have a lot of fat. We don't want to use their fat as much as possible. So I got butter, melted butter for our binder. I dried these squirrels real good. I got some Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, and for the sodium, I'm gonna use Lowry's. The Kinder's does have, um, it does have some, all right, sweet. And uh, pepper, got that, got that TikTok pepper grinder, boys. What you know about that? All right, let's pile these up right here in the middle. That way we can get more bang for our butt with this butter. I just kinda wanna get it all over them. I'll just use my left hand for this because I'm trying to use my right hand to get all the seasoning all out, getting my stuff all nasty. So let's just get that butter all over these bad boys. Hope I didn't lose the shot there. My uh, executive producer. Back here eating an apple, not paying attention. Tells me I'm good. <laughs> okay. I think we got those bad boys all lubed up. Hey, and once again, I, don't, I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. I know I like to eat because I am a, I am a reformed and former uh, fat boy. And so I love to eat. And I know butter tastes good, don't it? Butter tastes good, Lowry's tastes good, and this Kinder's, if you haven't been put onto this Kinder's yet, this stuff kind of came out of the blue for me, and it is absolutely delicious. Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. And I just got the OG Lowry's. I'm gonna go on with this Kinder's first. My lighting in this kitchen is awful. So you guys like and subscribe. When I get this channel monetized, I'm going to do a uh, upgrade kitchen. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's see. 
we're gonna upgrade this kitchen before this dog on channel gets monetized i am sure because i'm just doing this because i'm having fun man i you know i'm gonna be in my kitchen doing this anyway and my wife's gonna be like "Ooh, gross why do you eat those anyway you know whether i'm filming it or not but at least if i die before my grandkids are born they'll know their grandpa was a was an awesome redneck, just old high tech redneck shooting squirrels in his yard. They'd be like, dang, I want to be like that old fart. That's really why I'm doing it. And also to help you guys, to help somebody, there might be some city boy out there that looks at a squirrel and just goes, you know what? I bet them things don't taste half bad. And guess what? They don't. And that city boy might be like, but I don't know what to do. Well, now you do, city boy. Get out there and shoot him in the head. Cut his body up into bite-sized uh, portions and eat him. He's edible. And might I say delicious. I really think these are going to be good. They already, it smells good in here. I didn't put the pepper on that side, but that's okay. Pepper is more of a, you know, I've got to wear, I saw a chef on TikTok the other day and he was he was giving a real good case making a real good case for peppering food after you cook it because I don't know it does something to the pepper he was really getting uh real scientific and technological but I was trying to keep up all right that looks good let's get some Lowry's on there we don't want to skimp on the Lowry's we want these we want these I like it salty man I like it has some some flavor I can't stand getting a piece of meat to my table that ain't nobody put no seasoning on. It's like, what is wrong with y'all? There was a time back years ago where everybody smoking meat around here in the South was scared to death to put seasoning on it. You remember that, April? You get some barbecue and I, it didn't taste like nothing but smoke. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I think the battery's about dead on the OG pepper grinder. All right, there is our uh, seasoned squirrel. I'm gonna get the uh, grill ready to go. Put these on, I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna let them smoke for an hour. And then I'm gonna um, put them in a pan, cover them with bacon and smoke them for about another two. Nice and low and slow, baby. All right guys, got the pit balls fired up. I'm just gonna do the first round at, uh, at about 180. Um, I just wanna get them to temperature. I wanna get some smoke flavor on them because these are gonna cook pretty fast. I got the headlamp on so you can see. In the inside this grill it's just dark out here this um this pit boss is a pretty good grill but it's got a hot spot right here and i'm gonna try to keep these squirrels away from that hot spot i just wanted to get in here and get warm and get smoky let's see Come up to the front right here so i'm gonna keep them away from that hot spot because we're gonna put the pan, when I put them in the pan, I'm gonna put them right on that hot spot. All right, let's put this bad boy in the back, little feller. All right, those look pretty. Man, I think that's gonna be good. I'm excited. All right, these have been hanging out at 185 on the smoker. I, uh, I greased this pan good with some butter, and then I just put another couple of small pads of butter in the bottom, just kind of keep it from sticking. And once again, we want we want that good fat on these. I'm just gonna run these with just a little bit more of this seasoning. Once again, this is that Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, and these look great. They actually smell good. A little bit more of this Lowry's on them. And, uh, you know, I'm not really doing these individually because like, why do you need to do them individually? They're, I think they're gonna do better if they're all together. And I don't have to individually wrap each one with bacon. I'm just gonna put this bacon over the top of these. Cause I really just want this fatty flavor from this bacon. I really just want this fatty flavor from this bacon to transfer Kind of down into these squirrels is all I want. Once again, you're dealing with a real lean meat on these squirrel. Got a brand new pack of this thick cut 
bacon. Listen, anything's good when you put bacon on it. I'm, you're cheating. You're cheating when you put bacon on it. I don't mind cheating, baby. If, it, if it's got to do with dinner, we can cheat. It's going to make it taste good. Let's do it. Cover them up. Let's get one more little slice. Put these right here. And then right back on the smoker with this. All right, here is the finished product. They smell good and they look good. They do need to rest for just a minute. I tore this one right here. It looks like it's got a real good smoke ring on it. Kind of comes off the bone pretty easy. Oh man. All right. That's not bad. We're gonna let these rest for just a minute. Be right back. All right, here's the unveiling of the uh, of the smoke squirrels. I got my two uh, my two test dummies right here. <laughs> they're gonna try them out. Check. I've already had a little bit. I've already, I've already tried a little bit of it, and they look pretty dang good. I'll just get in there and turn them around and get some of those uh, back legs. See if it tears apart. Does the tear test pretty good? Corey, get in there and get you one, man. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty dang tender. Is it? Pretty good. What you think? That's pretty good. Man, that thing looks tender. Corey, what you think, bud? It's pretty tender. Thing tore right off, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Get me one right here. I'm just gonna take a bite right out of this one. That's probably just as good as. Oh man! Listen, oh, <laughs> that is next level right there. That is really good. I mean, it does have like a pound of butter <laughs> and uh, bacon on it. Let me try the. Let me try the back. Back not. I just put my mouth on both sides of that. Get you another one. Listen. Hmm. That don't make for good video, I know, but that was delicious. That really was. We got some Hasselback potatoes with it. Guess what they got on? Butter. Yeah, that back meat's good. That ain't bad at all. That's like way better than I expected it to be. Wow. That's well, listen. as good as the fried squirrel. What? Yeah. Listen, this guy was very skeptical. He was like, there's no way it's going to be as good as the fried squirrel. But I'm here to tell you, that's, that's good. I mean, that's good. <laughs> that's delicious. It took about, about three hours to get them right. I don't know, really about four. Four, I did stick a meat, I did stick a, a probe in them and, and make sure they kind of got to 200. They didn't quite get to 200. Also, my... Um, my thermometer on that grill doesn't work very good. I need to get a, a different one, but this is a hit right here. Listen, I'm about to let you guys go, and we are gonna uh, get grease all over our face. We're gonna look like glazed donuts whenever we get done. Take one more look. It's really greasy. At that right there. Well, it's gotta be greasy to be any good. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us on Woodbine Outdoors. We appreciate you.